Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the IROC series presented by More Freedom Trucking. Today, we have traveled to the Charlotte Motor Speedway for IROC at the Charlotte Roval. This is going to be race number six in the IROC series season three, and with only three races left here, let's go through your current top ten in points. Your points leader is the 13 of King of the Aces. Second will be the 07 of Douchebaggins. Third will be the 23 of Fuller Than You. Fourth will be the 3 of Geek Girl Games. Fifth will be the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Sixth will be the 96 of Nico. Seventh will be the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Eighth will be the 25 of JTM. Ninth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. And rounding edge field will be the 49 of Jetman. So that's a look at your points here for the IROC series. Again, if you don't recall, this is the top 10 in career points for the More Freedom series at the beginning of the year. That's the top 10 current drivers in the More Freedom series for their current points. That's who's in this. And they are getting their cars. They're, they're already dialed in. They're all identical. But they are getting a run through. They're getting the hot laps, whatever you want to call it. But I think it's about time. So let's go racing. As I get these cars fired up and going, let's go through your starting lineup today. Starting on the pole will be the 96 of Nico, and on his outside, the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Starting third will be the 3 of Geek Girl Games, and on her outside, the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Starting fifth will be the 07 of Douchebaggins, and on his outside, the 13 of King of the Aces. Starting seventh will be the 49 of Jetman, and on his outside, the 23 of Fuller Than You. Starting ninth will be the 25 of JTM, and rounding out your field, starting 10th will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. So let's look at your starting lineup today for IROC here at the Charlotte Roval, and it's going to be good for these cars. They are definitely made for the road courses, even though we drive them on a lot of of the ovals here in the IROC series. But they'll be, we'll see what they can do here at the Charlotte Roval in their native environment, these Dodge Vipers. Nico will be leading us down to the green flag. Again, this is a big track here today, two plus miles. Uh, we have 11 laps of hopefully green flag action here today at the Charlotte Roval. So lots of turns, everything else, some chicanes here and there. It should be a wonderful time here for the spectators for today's race. We have season two of the IROC series, the 96 of Nico and season three points champ. Wait, season two IROC and season two of the more freedom series champion, the 96 of Nico. He's leading us down to the green flag today. Uh, season three champ for the more freedom series. The three of geek girl games is right behind him. The 07 of Douche Baggins, who is a Season 1 IROC Series champion right there. Can't forget about the 13 of King of the Aces inaugural More Freedom Series champion. So, Nico leading us down to take the green flag here today. They're coming out of the final chicane. Green flag is out. We're underway. As they head down into the left-hander for turn number one, 356 Ice Cream Some Days on the outside of the 96. We got a couple drivers into the outside wall right there. They're getting a little bit slippery here today at the Charlotte Roval. It is upper 80s, 90s, so the track's going to be like 120 degrees here today as the 96 of Nico leads away here on lap number one. He's getting a good gap on the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days who is currently battling with the three of Geek Girl Games. That are Those are the two G3 Motorsports drivers right there, the three of Geek Girl Games and the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. They're going to see if they can get their cars wound up as we see the three of Geek Girl Games down to the inside. She's going to be able to make that pass on the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Coming along behind her, is the 329 of heck of a Duber. So Duber trying to get down to the inside of the 356 of ice cream some days. And we're going to see if the 07 of douche Baggins can do the same thing as the 96 of Nico leads through speedway three and four as they heads towards the front stretch, front stretch chicane here at the Charlotte Roval. Leader on lap number one here is the 96 of Nico. Let's bring up your timing and scoring. As always, top 10 will be on your left. 
and basically the entire top 10 scrolling across the top because there's only 10 drivers here in the IROC series. So the 96 of Nico leads here in the IROC series at the Charlotte Roval with G3 second. The, the, the ice cream, the 3 by 6 of ice cream some days is in third right now as it looks like the 07 of Douche Baggins falls back here. Wasn't able to make that pass. We're going to see if he can get any kind of draft to catch up to the 356 of Ice Cream some days. Actually, DB able to pass the 329 of Heck of a Duber. So, uh, Duber falls back a position. A couple positions, actually, because he was in the third position. And Ice Cream and DB able to get around him. 49 of Jetman up to fifth. Actually, Jetman will be in 6th, JTM will be in 7th, 8th will be the, thir the 23, 9th will be the 13, and rounding out your field right now is going to be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. No beautiful orange and black Dodge Challenger pace car here in the IROC series. So we're watching Nico lead the race here with about ten, eight, 8 laps to go or so right now. As we got a battle on the track for the third position between the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days, the 07, and the 329. So the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days trying to battle here, stay in the third position. She currently runs fifth in the points here to this season in the IROC series. So she is trying to make up a little bit of a gap here on the 13 at King of the Aces. So we'll see King is currently running in the ninth position. He's back to ninth right now. And he is, so there is the chance of a good points day by several of these drivers, as I think with how the points are right now, the 07 of Douche Baggins could potentially take over the points lead if he stays in his position. I'm just, I'm saying that not knowing what the, what kind of points that the 96 of Nico could get here. He's currently, oh, he's about 32 points behind King of the Aces for the lead in the championship. So if Nico can stay out here in front, maybe potentially lead all these laps as he is doing really good right now. He is actually lapping the fastest on the track as of right now on that previous lap. So I'm looking at the timing and scoring to see that. He actually has the fastest lap of the day on his previous lap at 104.411 miles per hour or 77.851 seconds. So Nico with the fastest lap of the day right now. G3 is not too far behind him on that, but... He is able as they slide through that backstretch chicane right there as they head into Speedway 3 and 4. G3 is going to try to make up that 1.4 seconds that she has. That 1.4 second deficit that she has over the 96 of Nico as they head into the front stretch chicane. So we see the 356 of Ice Cream some days starting to catch up a little bit to her teammate. The three of Geek Girl Games in the More Freedom Series. Teammates in the More Freedom Series. No teammates here in the IROC Series. And I'd say most of the people in this field, with the exception of Veteran Chaos, have a teammate in the race. Because the 96 of Nico is teammates with both the 25 and the 49. Then you got G3 and Ice Cream Some Days. Then you have Douche Baggins. Heck of a Duber teammates, and then you have uh, Fuller and King of the Aces teammates. So, several teammates to each. I said teammates too many times. We're done with that. <laughs> As we check in on the 96 of Nico, he still leads by 1.1 seconds. So, G3 is starting to catch up a little bit. As we do see, the, the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days takes over. The top spot on the fastest lap of the day at 104.615 miles per hour. So she is able to best Nico's mile per hours by two tenths. So we see G3 is now catching up to 
the 96 of Nico and the 356 of Ice Cream some days potentially catching up to the three five, or the number three of Geek Girl Games as DB and Duber kind of just chilling right here in the middle of the pack and just making laps right now, making laps right now as we've surpassed halfway here today. Actually, we're about to hit halfway on this lap as we watch the 96 of Nico still leading here today, but I think that 356 or the three of Geek Girl Games is going to catch up to him at some point here. As we see him head into the backstretch chicane, G3 inching ever closer right now as I think she's just got a little bit more She's got a little bit more car control through those chicanes on the front and the back stretch because I feel like that's where she's making up her time on the 96 of Nico. As we head towards the front stretch, you'll see her just close in. It's so close right there through those chicanes. And if she can get good runs off of those turns, um, that's definitely going to benefit her that's definitely going to allow her to get closer that's going to hopefully make for that pass that she's hoping for a win here in the irox series may potentially put her into the top top of the points as she resides uh nine no sorry 11 points back from king of the aces so i think you're going to see db G3, possibly Ice Cream, and possibly Nico jump over King of the Aces right now as he currently runs in the ninth position here. We'll check in on the second place and the third place, the 356 and the three. So G3 actually lost about four tenths of a second on that last lap. She, her lap time was considerably slower that time around. So tires may be becoming a factor. Again, it's not. There's going to be no pit stops here, but still with 11 laps, you're still going to see those tires degrade over over the run. You're going to see the car slow down. Nico just happens to only have ran, you know, his is like a 104.192. G3 on that last lap was a 103.713. So we're going to see if maybe G3 just drove it a little bit too hard trying to catch up to the 96 of Nico as that's going to allow her to fall into the clutches of the 356 of Ice Cream some days here in a couple laps. They will get a little bit of draft on this as they head through Speedway 1 and 2 and as well as Speedway 3 and 4. So they're going to not going to get enough time to get up to an extreme amount of speed, but they'll at least have enough to get a little bit of a draft possibly into those front and back stretch chicanes as we watch the 96 of Nico still lead the way here today at the Charlotte Roval for this IROC at the Charlotte Roval he's uh, really pushing that lead out and I don't know that he's it's because he's running faster his lap times are slowing down but I think G3's lap times are actually just getting a lot slower right now as we see the 356 of ice cream some days almost to that back bumper of her more freedom series teammate and car owner the three of geek girl games again g3 she is the highest she has the highest career points right now in the more freedom series she is number one in that she's got five career wins in the more freedom series four of them i believe four of them came last year in her championship run as she had won the final race of the season to seal the deal at talladega Running second here in the IROC series. Fourth in the points. But this could be, again, a very, very good points day for her. 356 Ice Cream some days. I believe she's worked herself back into the top 10 in points. She'd fallen out there a little bit uh, for a bit in the, in the more Freedom Series career standings. But she's had a good run in the second half of the year, being able to push that push that car back into the top 10 in career points. I believe she has one win this season in the More Freedom Series. And I think that came at Sonoma. Yeah, she won Sonoma. She won the road course there, I do believe. 
And we see the 0-7 of Douche Baggins, who I believe still in the top 10 in career points in the More Freedom Series. Not doing the best this season in the in the More Freedom Series. Uh, kind of mid-pack right now, same as the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Both of them kind of mid-pack right now, just chilling. Haven't had a terrible season, haven't had a great season, but they're doing their best there in the More Freedom Series. As we looks like we have one lap to go. Or we might be getting the one lap to go here for the 96 of Nico as he has led all the entire way here today at the Charlotte Roval. So he's getting ready to come out onto Speedway 1 and 2 as he makes a left-hander out onto the Speedway. Heading down through Speedway 1 and 2, heading for the back stretch. So he's going to get the car wound up a little bit. Again, he just hasn't fallen off as much. He's just kind of conserved his tires out there in the front. Hasn't had to really race anybody. He was able to get that good jump on the start of the race and just able to pull out here and keep the, keep the lead. As we see the white flag coming out, one more lap around the Charlotte Roval for the 96 of Nico as he currently has about a two-second lead over the three of Geek Girl Games as he heads into turn one. Just got to hit your marks for one more lap around this Charlotte Roval, and it will be another win for the 96 of nico as again he still has about a two second lead on the number three of geek girl games so g3 made that run there through the middle of the of the race just not able to catch up to and pass the 96 of nico as i believe he just was able to conserve his tires being out there in the lead and then when she got close enough he kind of sped up a little bit and she had already used up all her tires here today as we see him through Speedway 1 and 2 onto the backstretch. Headed for that backstretch chicane. Final time through this backstretch chicane for the 96 of Nico here at the Charlotte Roval. And he is going to cruise to a win here today by about two seconds. He's going to lead every single. He's going to start on the pole. He's going to lead every single lap here today. And he's going to try to chase that IROC Series championship. As through the final chicane, down to the stripe, your winner for IROC at the Charlotte Roval, the 96 of Nico. Let's go through your finishing top 10, actually your finishing order. So again, your winner leading all every lap here today at the Charlotte Roval is the 96 of Nico. Second's going to be the three of Geek Girl Games. Third will be the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Fourth will be the 07 of Douche Baggins. Fifth will be the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Sixth will be the 25 of JTM. Seventh will be the 49 of Jetman. Eighth will be the 23 of Fuller the New. Ninth will be the 13 of King of the Aces. And rounding out your field will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. So I see JTM did pass the 49 of Jetman there through the middle of the race. So he moved himself up into the sixth position. Our next IROC series race will be on September 30th for IROC, Michigan. So high speed oval. We'll see how these cars and drivers do there. Let's take a look at your points because I think we're going to see a shakeup here in the top four or five, six maybe. Uh, so you're seeing your points here on the screen. Again, congratulations to the 96 of Nico. He is your winner today here for IROC at the Charlotte Roval, trying to make a run for a two-peat in the IROC Series Championship is the 96 of Nico. Let's see if he can get that done with two races left to go, Michigan and Talladega. And hey, until Friday, back here at Charlotte, for the More Freedom Series at the Charlotte Roval. Take care.